Hi folks, my name's Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skiver, and in this video I'm going to give you a quick introduction to our new animation software, Construct Animate. Uh, here it is, it's now in public beta. I should note that the beta means it's not necessarily representative of the final product, but you can try it out right now, and this is what it looks like. Um, so the kind of things you can make with it are this animated splash, you can see the timeline at the bottom, which uh, sequences all the movements at uh, times. And when you preview the project, you can see a fun little splash animation appears. So I'm going to quickly show you how you can make a similar animation like this, and also demonstrate the new export to video feature. Let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to create a new project from the start page. And here's a nice blank canvas. And I've got some images here on the desktop. I'm just going to drag and drop in Piggy, and that creates a sprite. Now, I'm going to make the Piggy appear on screen. So I'm going to start it off the screen, and just rotate it a little, a little bit there. And I can add it to this timeline just by dragging it and dropping it there. And now this Piggy is on the timeline, and I can animate it. I'm also just going to add the angle property so that it can include its rotation. Now, I'm going to add a keyframe to animate this into the screen. So I'm going to enter editing mode and just drag and drop that onto the screen and rotate it so it's upright. And let's set that uh, position to be at uh, two and a half seconds. So now the red line is at two and a half seconds on the timeline. And I click set keyframes. And if I go back and play that, you can see the animation happens over two and a half seconds. Let's make that a little bit more exciting. We can use a elastic, out, out elastic uh, tween mode, and it looks like that, which is just a little bit more uh, active movement. I'm also going to change this timeline to start on this layout automatically. And now when I preview the project, you can see the piggy appears. Let's add one more thing. Uh, let's add the Construct3 logo to appear um, at the same time. That's a little bit big, so I'm just going to uh, resize that smaller. There we go. And I can also drag and drop that in. And I'm going to add a keyframe. Uh, once again, enter editing mode. And let's move it up here. And uh, set a keyframe at, let's go for four seconds. And now that will move up to there over four seconds. And I'm going to change the ease to in out elastic. And I'm also going to change the path to a cubic busier. So this allows um, making this a curve. So now I can just uh, change slightly the uh, direction the curve will come in. And let's see how that looks. There we go. So now we've got a nice and simple animation, which will look like this when we preview. It's the piggy and then the construct logo. And now I'm ready to get to this as a video. So this is where we can use the new export to video feature, um, which is unique to construct animate. So I'm going to choose the export option and you can export to a uh, web or with a HTML5 canvas playable ads and or video is the new option unique to construct animate and when I select that I'm going to have a five second video at 60 frames per second and there's some codec options here I'll just click OK and you can see it exports faster than real time so that was a five second video which exported in a, about one second I'll download the resulting file and now if I open that it'll play the video and that's got my timeline animation in there as a WebM video file. So there you go, that's how you can create uh, video files from your timeline animations using Construct Animate. We're very interested in your feedback, so please give it a go. Visit animate.construct.net slash beta. Uh, the link will be in the video description. Give it a spin, let us know what you think. Thanks.